Hey guys, it's Alicia. Today I have a Weight Watcher friendly, kid friendly version of Tater Tot Casserole. Now, I love Tater Tot Casserole, but it is definitely not Weight Watcher friendly in its original form. The potatoes or the Tater Tots themselves are like a ton of points. So I do a version that is lighter and doesn't use as many Tater Tots, but it's still very, very good. So. I'm gonna show you how I do that. And first I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need for that. So of course you're gonna need tater tots or as these are, potato puffs. I'm gonna be using 40 of those and that's what I uh, put into my Weight Watcher app to figure out point wise how many I needed. It's gonna be 40. So I'm gonna count those out when I get to that point. And then next I'm using a little of this non-fat plain Greek yogurt that I absolutely love. I'm going to use a can of green beans, a can of fit and active or low fat cream of chicken condensed soup, and that is a 10.5 ounce can, a pound of lean ground turkey, one medium red onion chopped, a cup of 50% fat free cheese. I think this is a Mexican blend, but you can use any type of a cheese that you want, um, but you're going to want to use a lower fat one. And then here I have rice cauliflower. Now this is one of the things that's going to make a big difference in the points in this because instead of using all tater tots, I'm subbing in with this rice cauliflower, which is much, much lower in points than the tater tots. I believe this entire bag, when I figured it, is just three points. So I'm going to be using these basically as potato sub and they taste really good in this. Next I've got a half cup of skim milk. I'm going to be using a little bit of minced garlic and then some fresh ground pepper. And that is all that is in this. First thing you want to do is get your oven preheating to 375. And then here I've got a large pan and I'm going to just take my ground turkey. And my chopped red onion. And I'm going to just get this cooking together. I'm also going to add a little bit of pepper to this. And I've just got this on medium high heat. And I'm gonna just cook this until that ground turkey is all the way cooked through and those onions are translucent and softened. This turkey is pretty much all the way cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my cauliflower. Now this was frozen, I defrosted it. And you can actually throw this in as you're cooking the meat and onions too. But you do want to make sure this is defrosted. So I'm going to just let that cook along with that meat and onions for another couple minutes. The camera cut me off here, but I let that meat cook the rest of the way. And then I added in a couple teaspoons of garlic and now I'm just letting that cook for about a minute. It's been about a minute. I've let that garlic cook in there. And now I'm gonna add in my green beans that I've drained. And you don't have to put green beans in this if you don't want to. I just like full added, added extra veggies in there. I'm gonna put in my cream of chicken soup. My half cup milk and about a half cup of the Greek yogurt. I'm gonna turn my heat down to low. I'm gonna just mix this all together. I've got this all mixed together now, so now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it in this 13 by nine inch pan that I went ahead and sprayed a little no calorie cooking spray. So I'm just gonna pour this right in here. And then I'm gonna just spread it out in the pan. And now I'm gonna take my tater tots and I counted these out and like I said, it was 40. It's about 13 ounces if you don't wanna count. Um, but 40 of them here. And I'm gonna just lay these on the top. Now again, traditionally you would use at least twice this amount of tater tots and that is what makes 
a traditional tater tot casserole, one of the things anyway, so high in points. So just using half of those cuts down the points quite a bit. And using that cauliflower rice also adds a lot to this too, without a lot of points. So now I've got those on there. And I'm gonna take my cheese and I'm gonna just sprinkle this over the top. So I'm gonna put this in the oven now at 375 for probably about 30, 35 minutes. All right, I cooked this for 30 minutes and it is done. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes before I cut into it, just to let it cool down a little bit. But I will be back when I do that. Okay, here is a serving of that and it is a sixth. And it is nine points on the green. I have to figure out what it is on um, blue and purple, but it's nine points on the green. And I will put the rest or all the points on the screen here. I have my husband try it, tell you what he thinks. What's that over there? It's a Bella. Looking very enthused with life. So it's very good. So your mind goes to, I'm gonna taste potatoes because that's a traditional way to have this. Mm -hmm. And so it's a little bit of a shock when you first taste it. But it's really good. It's got that real um, kind of comfort food flavor to it. Uh, that you know, you can't go wrong with cheese and potatoes. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of tater tots. You don't need any more than that to, to make it a tater tot casserole and make it taste good. The um, Cauliflower adds a nice, um, it's a very, very, very mild sweetness, um, which I find very pleasant. And I like green beans and, and all the flavors come through. So on this dish, I mean, every, like I said, every, every flavor's coming through, the cheese, the potatoes, um, you know, it's got onion and that's really coming through as well. It's, it's very pleasant. Not quite as hearty as the traditional dish would be. Um, so the lack of the potatoes, you think? Yeah. And that's the only diff. That's the only reason. Um, other than that, it's it's. Uh, I can tell it's going to be really filling. A very satisfying dish to eat. And you said nine points. Nine points. Yeah, I don't have any issues um, eating something like this for nine points. I think it's a it's a good dish to have on the menu. So the cauliflower subbing for potatoes. You can tell that it's cauliflower. I mean, for me, I feel like it almost. It almost tastes like potatoes with the, with everything else that's going on in there. But no, not for you? Okay. So I guess if you hate cauliflower, this wouldn't be for you then. I mean, it's definitely, by no means is it, oh my God, that's a, it's a cauliflower dish. Yeah. And um, the cauliflower takes a back seat. Um, but again, it adds that kind of really light flavor to it. Okay. But all in all, you like it. I like it a lot, yeah. All right. So that is lightened up or Weight Watcher friendly tater tot casserole that is kid friendly because it is still tater tot casserole and I, I definitely oh, yeah. think it's still very much kid friendly, super easy to make and pretty yummy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.